So, hello guys, and welcome back to Random Idea 779. And this is another garden update, so let's go! So, I have to be quick here. So, that's the workshop. That, so, you enter from there. That's the garage area. They split this yard into areas. So, that's the garage area, the tap area where there's like a camellia there, a papyrus there. That's the workshop. A papyrus is a water plant. It's from my pond that I made there. <laughs> it, co it kept tipping over somewhere there, so it looks nice. That's a native garden bed, so that's the tap area. The g that's the, the... That's the... What do you call it? The garage area, the driveway area, yeah. That's the tap area, that's the workshop. There in that. This is the entertaining area. All of this. <laughs> that's a deck. That's a bird aviary. That's a water feature. I want to restore. I want to restore that aviary as well. It used to have quails in it. Yeah, nice memories. That's a chair back there. And that's a that's a grapevine. And there's all kinds of things on there, like. We want to restore this as well. That's from my weeding I did in there, but it'll tell you that's a different era. This is, there's tons of geraniums here, and succulents, and strawberries, and lavender, all of them there, yeah. That's, that's a nice area to sit under the tree. And yeah, that's some bonsai pots on there. Yeah, and the bonsai trees up there. That's the... Here yeah, the table that we that we sit uh, that we sit under on yeah when we have occasions and stuff here yeah. that's my little my brother's ritual thing that's my native garden bed that's oregano and some raspberry yeah raspberries and. Uh, it'll it's like a cutting a raspberry a raspberry cutting so it'll grow up and that's that's the garage area garage with a building area we'll do that later it'll be another project in the future that's where we get like our second nursery that's from my banana tree I planted there's a little cute spider living in here so yeah that's our water barrel and i'm sorry if there's noise so just ignore that that's her lemon tree yeah there's a little spider living in there very cute thing and now that's so we did our the driveway area the workshop area water tap area the entertaining area the the working area and this is the growing area my dad's garden bed and this is my garden bed native plants and greek italian plants here yeah. bottle brushes and all of that compost bean that has been a ger that's our geranium pot now because my mom didn't know it was a compost bean so yeah, it looks nice a very nice geranium by the way that's where the dna came from yeah, and I want to make a food forest here. Banana tree, I want to have a, a new avocado tree there because the, my old one died. That's some lentils, that's some mint and uh, kalamata olive, a Greek olive. This is a manzanilla olive, an Italian variety. And this is an Australian plant there. That's an agapanthus if you want to know, and that's a woolly bush. This is... A, I'm sorry about the noise. This is a, an apple tree, and this is that. That's a uh, some clovers in, inside a chamomile, and this is an oregano plant, a Greek oregano. And yeah, this will be my food forest. That's the growing area, and this is the fun area. I'm sorry, just ignore that, please. And this is my pond. Power grass, bottle brush, it'll grow up. 
You can make baskets and you can out of the power grass and you can eat the pollen out of this bottle brush. There's some cool grasses here, papyrus and another grass. A rush, I think that's a rush, I think, like this, this is a rush as well. This is a taro, that's a marsh flower. This is a nardu, Australian native. There's some fish in this pond as well, yeah. Creeping Jenny, another, there's a creeping Jenny cutting over there somewhere. Milfoil, and then that's a milfoil cutting, and that's another plant from Garden World. And this is just the, its pot for decoration. I hope you like this area. Th that's the... So let me just... I'll let you watch. Look. Look at this, just, it's not quite so complicated, we just have to weed our yarn that is nearly 90% complete, maybe more. All we need to do is just take out these weeds, then it's pretty much complete. And this, this is some oregano, and as you can see I want to have a permaculture system, that's why I'm making these gardening videos. I'll teach you how to have a permaculture system it's a very fun thing to have in your garden so quickly before this video cuts out i'll just show you this and we'll, yeah just a montage of the driveway area the tap area the fun the entertaining area the working space area the nursery and the garage back there the growing area and the fun area I'm sorry if there's noise, yeah, but this is the banana tree I was talking about, so yeah, I'll be focusing on this, it's my food forest I want to make, it'll be very fun with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time when there's no noise in the backyard, see ya.